so as you can see this these houses look pretty bad uh, so I did a little touch up on them and I got three different colors I already exported these into the game and you see their transparent background which PNG files can have transparencies and also DDS files can just remember if you export your file to be a DDS file that it needs to uh, let me go show you for transparencies it needs to be the BC3 compression here if it's just a regular image without transparency it's a BC1 and if it's got trans I mean if it's a, a normal map just BC5 and always always have it generate MIP maps uh, well since I mentioned normal maps uh, to make this a normal map for this you would just go to generic normal map and that makes a normal map which I may try one on one just to see what it looks like which gives it a little more of a 3D look but I was actually going for more a pretty traditional arcade look so so I'll export this and I'll just put a little underscore in under here so I know that's the normal map and uh, I'll show you so when you export it it just you pick the other compression type BC5 and generate mid maps so off we go to blender and we delete the cube and I'm gonna check uh, the asset library here see if I save stuff from the other outrun in here no oh, but I guess I didn't put it in there oh well I'll just import it in here well I got the car here this is fine the car will give me an idea of the house size uh, so I'll, I'll make a mesh plane just a plane and uh, That probably would be good. I'll rotate it 90 degrees. Get it out of the ground. And that should be good. Now I'll just go give it a material. New. And this will be house brown. I'll pick up here pick uh, viewport shading now since I scaled this I'm gonna apply all transforms and uh, see what the UV maps do now if you don't do that the UV oh they're still gonna be messed up probably but I just gonna do a little test see what it makes it if it does right so I'll pick the image texture here and it should be in the uh, level why I named one outrun and the other PBR and didn't make the right one with the right name I, I couldn't tell you but here we are so here's our three colors and let's see where is it gonna put this house hey look at that it did it perfect can't get no better than that that's exactly what I wanted I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, name the mesh house and I'm gonna right click and say mark as an asset so oh I gotta save the file as long as I save it save the asset and all your assets anything you want to make an asset to pull up like this you just save it in the place that uh, is for assets so you save your file there too and uh, you can easily drag them out of here at any time I could go over that if I have to in another video uh, but that isn't really what I was trying to focus on really on this one I'll import in let me just import in the palm tree too and see how that looks compared because if you look at the image from the game the palm trees look about twice the height of the house so I think that's gonna be good enough but I'll still check it so, uh, let's see palm tree this is the one for the right side of the road 
Yeah, you can see my collision mesh. Actually, I think the house is too big. Now I look at it, I'll scale it a little smaller. About to there. Alright, so we're done with this, this, and this. We need to make a collision. Well, there's one more thing I'll do. I'll double this. I'll make a duplicate by picking it and hitting Shift D. And then I'll uh, move it along the Y axis here. That just gives it a little, even though it's like paper thin, you know, having two of them, it makes it a little easier to see it. So that's why I did that. Now I'll just make another mesh. I'll just make a cube. I'll scale the cube to be pretty thin, like this. And then I'll scale it up and move it up. So that'll be the collision mesh. I guess I could get it a little better than that. I just uh, pick these corners and just move them so that they well <laughs> that's kind of crappy let me undo that <laughs> that's pretty terrible actually I'll do this, I'll edit it, and I'll just, uh, I'll draw a line across it with this, uh, cut tool. And I should cut the back also, but I don't think it will. I'll have to go around the back, too. This basically cuts the mesh so you can have more vertices to move and do with what you please and then you hit enter and it just cuts the mesh so you got a little more triangles and stuff to work with I look at a front view I'll move this over all right that's a little better I could cut it more and make it align even more of it So I'll just do it like that. That'll be fine. So this will be the collision mesh. C O L M E S H dash one. And uh I'll just reuse this base zero zero and start zero one. Or I'll just explain it for people who don't know. Let me delete everything I don't need, like this light. And uh, now the house and the other house, I made a duplicate. Remember, made it a little wider, little thing. So I'll just join them together here, so that they're uh, just house. And I gotta make sure that texture didn't get a dot one after it. Also, no, okay. So now we just add our two empty plane axes, axes. Axes or axis, I don't know. It's one of them. All right, uh, one of them will be base zero zero, and the other one will be start zero one. Then hold and shift, left click, and drag and drop. Just like that. Put start in base, and then put your house and your collision mesh or whatever you're making. And drop them in start so now this is game ready so we just have to export it into the folder that the other game assets are in which is in my levels art folder and they got their own folder arcade game so I'll call this one house brown And it's going to copy the, well, the texture is already over there, so I'll need to copy it. But there it goes. Now I just go load that folder. House, house, house. Oh, PBR, art, 
arcade game. All right. All right, now I open my main materials file. And now I'm just going to make a duplicate of an, another one of these that I've already made for this thing. So I'll copy the whole thing. I'll go to the last texture in here. But you can see the last one because you see these two brackets. You know that's the last one. So I'll hit enter. Now to make another texture, you just put a bracket and a comma. And you know it doesn't matter where it's at. This it just looks neater like that. So as long as there's a comma after a bracket, it's like okay, we got another texture to make. So I'll just paste it and I'll just change the name from Bush One to House Brown. Or is it Brown House? Alright, I'm uh, pretty sure it's House Brown. Damn it. House Brown. House brown, and then that has to go in these three spots here. The only time you put it on something else where map two is if you were basically having this texture take the place of something else. Say like there was a texture called turd or something in the game, and you wanted you could have house brown take the place of turd so anything that loaded turd would load house brown that's I believe how that works I don't ever I never have to use that so I think at one time I did that one time I used that so I'm not a hundred percent there so here's where we put the color map is the house um, this would be the house brown dot DDS if you're ever not sure, you can go back to Blender and you can go to your house brown texture, which you could open up if it's in here and you know the bottom there. It tells you the name of the texture right there. House brown. That's what it's looking for. And this also has a normal map. So I'll add a normal map. Normal map. And it was house brown underscore in dot DDS. All right, I think that's it. Alpha test is using the alpha clip. Alpha reference is how much of the clip. Now I've had, I've found like this needs a lot. To like get like little noise and stuff off the edges but we can save this now and load our level and our house should work now I'll share with you all I had a hell of a problem with uh, that bush I don't know what happened I, every time I imported that sucker in the game it was invisible I don't even remember what I did I just had to start all over. I don't know what was going on with that file. But it, man, it pissed me off, man. I was like, damn, this is a simple ass thing. Simple texture. I couldn't figure out what was the deal. So, no, like, we all have problems making stuff in here. I have problems. Yeah, I'm sure the developers have problems. Hell, I see, they, I see they have problems. I see you can see in the forums where they comment. They have questions themselves that they ask, that the developers ask answer you know so it's like yeah we all get issues remember this thing's an alpha you know it's not a final release so you know why is that so dark why isn't that dark in there oh that's why I don't know why textures do that honestly why some of them are dark like Oh, it's in the ground. That's what it is. That's not where that goes. I mean, I have to look at the game. I gotta watch the YouTube video and like see what this track does, where it goes. And I'll like fill all this stuff in as I go. And I'm not doing a whole lot on this thing every day. I'm just doing like 
one or two things a day because it don't take long to make them and at some point it'll be finished well at least track level one and I also found out like there is new uh, there is new uh, um, a mission maker like you want to hear in the window in the gameplay uh, mission editor you can make missions which I can basically make this uh, have a time thing just like the arcade game which basically what that's doing is replacing scenarios so that's just cool this is I had some questions about how to make scenarios and I didn't know really uh, so I'm going to be looking into that mission thing at some point to make this and I'll have more information on that uh, I think that's pretty much it. I could uh, mirror this thing for the other side to flip it. So, but I'm not going. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going. I'm going. I'm going to be a cheapskate and I'm going to do it like this. I'm just going to mirror it and drag it over that way. I mean, what I was saying is I could have went in Blender. I could have picked. Every, I could pick everything and I could say, uh, let's see, mesh. Is it object mirror? And that'd be the X. The hell, I done did it. I guess I'll go ahead and export it. House Brown. What is it? House Brown. House. House Brown. I'll just put a uh, mirror. I know it's the other side. It should be reverse now it's upside down yeah see that's why I didn't want to do that because now I gotta have to fix that make that damn not mirrored nah, I won't do all that uh, no no thank you too much this ain't worth that that'd be good enough and I have the other colors in there but that's how you do an alpha. Uh, if you uh, didn't do your texture that way, you would basically, what you would do is in a material editor. I it didn't add my damn normal map. I must have put that, I must have typed that incorrectly. It didn't add it. I have to look at how it saves it. To know how to do it correctly. I put a typo. See, that's what the normal does. Gives it more of a 3D look. So it's not flat, see, like without it, then with it, that's what normal maps do. Makes a, a simple polygon look a little more detailed. This really looks alright. I guess it looks so good. I guess I could do that with all of them. Made them look a little better. But I'm going to do that another day. Not today. So hopefully this will help some folks make simple things. Oh, yeah. Advanced. Uh, alpha Clip. That's what Alpha Clip does. With the transparency, it removes the background. Which, that's crazy as crap right there. I don't know why that's in there. That's, that's really crazy. That shouldn't be nothing. I don't know how that happened. And uh, alternatively, you have uh, lens, you got these kinds of alpha transparencies too that you can see through things like smoke and stuff, but uh, you don't need to do that with this. This would be fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and rebuild collision. You gotta do that before you can collide with it. If you didn't do that and you ain't playing the game and you load the next day, it'll do it for you. You just, or whenever every time you load the level. That's what I was talking about. See that crap right there in the corner? That's what the alpha clip, I said you have to crank it all the way up to get rid of that stuff around the edge. Up there. That's what that gets rid of. 